I'm just going to read you the, the language in your bill. No classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties relating to sexual orientation or gender identity shall occur. Um, lady, you mentioned George Washington. Who is Martha Washington? His wife. Under your bill, how could you mention that in a classroom? So to me, that's not sexual orientation. Really? So it's only really certain sexual orientations that you want prohibited Pat, from introduction you, in the classroom. Do you have language to make that better, to make it where you're not talking? Lady, I didn't introduce your bill. Okay. Uh, and I, I didn't write it. You wrote it. And so I'm asking what it means. Which sexual orientations do you believe should be prohibited from Missouri classrooms? We all have a moral compass. And my moral compass is compared with the Bible. Lady, I believe I during believe your testimony, you said that you didn't want teachers' personal beliefs entering the classroom, but it seemed a lot like your personal belief you would like to enter all Missouri classrooms. You can, you can believe something without, in, without, in, without putting that onto somebody by the way you behave. And you can have beliefs and morals and values that guide you through life. I, I don't dispute that, but I'm asking about the language of your bill and how it would permit the mention of the historical figure Martha Washington. Could you explain that to me? So, what does she? What? Why is she famous? Is she famous because she's married with, to George Washington? It seems like that would be a relevant fact. In her biography, yes. Could it be mentioned under the plain reading language of your bill? Is that a no? I, I, I don't know, sir. Okay. Oh, my God. I swear, some of these Republicans watched The Handmaid's Tale and were like, yeah, no, that sounds good to me. Now, here's something that'll surprise you. The male voice in this video is State Representative Phil Cristovanelli, an openly gay Republican who's criticizing a fellow Republican, Ann Kelly, on her anti-LGBT school bill. In other words, even Republicans recognize how far off the deep end that party, that bill, and the whole anti-LGBT movement have gone. Now, the bill calls for no instruction in classrooms relating to sexual orientation or gender identity. And so when Cristovanelli asked about Martha Washington's claim to fame that she was married to George Washington, and guess what? That's related to sexual orientation. If you're straight, that's still an orientation. Let's put it a different way. If we were to ask who Chastin Buttigieg is, do you think that that would be permissible under this Republican bill? Do you think that Republicans would object to that being mentioned in the classroom? Of course they would. Why? Because the fact that he's married to Pete is a testament to his sexual orientation. But the fact that Ann Kelly doesn't view it as an issue when it's a straight couple, like George and Martha Washington, but would very clearly view it as an issue when it's a gay couple, really gives the whole game away here. She's not against the acknowledgement of sexual orientation, she's against the acknowledgement of queer sexual orientation. And then Kelly asked Cristofanelli if he has language to make it better, as if he wrote the bill, as if it's his responsibility to sanitize her vile piece of legislation. Here's a suggestion to make it better. Pull the bill, because there's no way to fix a piece of legislation whose sole purpose is to discriminate against a class of people. And then here's where the extent of her depravity starts to really come through. She continues by saying, we all have a moral compass, and my moral compass is compared with the Bible. In other words, she's saying that she doesn't give a shit whether or not her bill is open openly discriminatory because this isn't about the rights of other people, it's about her own beliefs. She's introducing legislation that comports with her religious agenda. She's not here to serve her district, she's here to serve herself. She's here to proselytize. And so even though we have a separation of church and state in this country, she's not concerned with any of that because it's not about the Constitution or the law, it is about her and her own beliefs. For Republicans, government is only only about how they can help themselves. Also, notice her wording here. We all have a moral compass. The subtext being that being gay is antithetical to her moral compass, that it's immoral. And bear in mind, she's saying this to the face of her colleague who is gay. The extent to which these people traffic openly and shamelessly in abject bigotry is a degree of hatred that ironically only services with people who hide behind Jesus. Funny how that works out, huh? And here's where things really start to go south for Kelly. Lady, I believe during I believe your testimony, 
you said that you didn't want teachers' personal beliefs entering the classroom, but it seemed a lot like your personal belief you would like to enter all Missouri classrooms. You can, you can believe something without, in, without, in, without putting that onto somebody by the way you behave. And you can have beliefs and morals and values that guide you through life. That stuttering response was her trying to reconcile the fact that she wants to ban the acknowledgement of LGBT people, but not straight people, but also not get pegged for being a bigot. And so she says that you can believe something without putting that onto somebody, which first off, is that Shakespeare? Because that was just rhetorical genius. And second, she is so thick-headed that she can't even hear herself. She's trying to say that you should be allowed to believe in LGBT ideology without expressing it in the classroom, but what she's not realizing is that by allowing it for those who don't identify as LGBT, she is quite literally expressing the belief that she espouses and allowing it to be expressed in the classroom. Only she's so bigoted that she can't even get it through her skull that other people exist and that her beliefs, just because they're hers, aren't the default. My God, if she didn't know that the earth revolved around the sun, she'd think it revolved around her. And then this part just made me laugh out loud. And you can have beliefs and morals and values that guide you through life. I, I don't dispute that, but I'm asking about the language of your bill and how it would permit the mention of the historical figure Martha Washington. Could you explain that to me? After Kelly is done giving this nebulous existential response, Krista Finelli is like, Okay, cool. Anyway, your bill is supposed to prohibit the acknowledgement of sexual orientation, so how do you justify the bill allowing the acknowledgement of Martha Washington, who is only known because she is the partner in a heterosexual relationship, which, yes, is still sexual orientation, with George Washington? And of course, for the first time in this entire exchange, Kelly manages to offer up just a nugget of truth when she responds with, I don't know. And that's correct, because it would be impossible to know how that bill would prohibit it for a gay couple while still allowing it for a straight couple, because then it's not actually a bill prohibiting the mention of sexual orientation, it is just an overtly anti-LGBT bill, a bill designed to discriminate against the LGBT community. In fact, if she wanted to be fully honest, she'd have just said no, because she knows full well that the intent of this bill is not to protect kids in a classroom, it is just to discriminate against the LGBT community and parade her Christianity all over the place because she is incapable of keeping her religion to herself. The fact is that you are not protecting kids by pretending that LGBT people don't exist or by pretending that the only real relationships out there are heterosexual ones. This isn't 1950 as much as Republicans want it to be. Millions upon millions of Americans are queer and they have loving, healthy relationships and they start loving, healthy families and you are not protecting anyone by hiding that from them. You're just purposefully making people ignorant to reality. And the reality is that they are no different than anyone else in that they find their partners just like heterosexual people find their partners. And if Ann Kelly doesn't approve of an LGBT relationship, here's some advice. Don't be in one, but otherwise she would be well served to fuck off. So I hope for the sake of not only the LGBT community in Missouri, but also straight kids in Missouri who are going to grow up ignorant of reality that this bill fails. But regardless of what happens with this bill, I hope that people see the tenuous arguments put forward by someone like Ann Kelly and recognize the entitlement, the bigotry, the shamelessness with which she and others like her operate. And how she's not there to serve her constituents, but to impose her backwards religious views onto an entire population that very clearly doesn't want it. Because there is nothing bigger than Republican small government. Before you go, a quick announcement. I've started a Spanish YouTube channel. Democrats desperately need to be able to appeal to Spanish speaking audiences, so this is me doing my part. To help that channel get going in the algorithm so that we can finally start spreading our progressive message and breaking the conservative stranglehold on Spanish speaking media, please subscribe and watch a few videos. The link to that channel, called Brian Teller Cohen Espanol, is right here on this screen. And of course, to see more of my content in English, make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. The link is also right here on this screen. Thanks so much for watching.